Hello from a really rather chilly Wednesday the 7th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So the UK recovery is uh, shaping up not only to be far stronger than analysts originally predicted, but it'll also be a different kind of recovery to anything that we've seen before. Uh, think back to the first lockdown, that saw the economy really hit the brakes and almost shut down overnight. And when that ended, we saw one quarter of full throttle economic performance kick in before the subsequent lockdowns again at the end of last year. But with growth in Q3 and a smidgen of growth in Q4 even, we have managed to avoid an official recession so far. Well done us. Uh, but the enforced changes like working from home and online shopping have meant that a lot of businesses have had to adapt on the hoof. And such enforced changes will no doubt see some businesses fail where they're no longer necessary or financially viable. But the growing optimism about the UK recovery is spilling over to the currency. We saw 138.25 against the dollar and 116.50 against the euro yesterday. Um, over in the US, the economic turnaround there is arguably even more impressive than the UK. Don't forget, they also had the political upheaval to deal with uh, from the election and the change of administration. Of course, the clear game changer there has been the ridiculous levels of stimulus that the new administration has injected into the economy, providing financial support to individuals as well as um, stimulus to the economy. But a cloud of unemployment looms over all the G7 nations, but the number of new jobs created in the US looks set to quash that concern uh, pretty quickly if the current trend continues. Do you think we'll see over a million new jobs in, in next month's non-farm Friday? Hold on to your hats. Uh, the latest FOMC minutes will be released later today where the market is keen to see what discussions may have been had on a regional level about inflation. After all the stimulus has been released, there's growing concern that the Fed may get caught out by the inflationary effect and there is renewed scrutiny over how the plan to control the surge um, is, is likely to be delivered. No such positive news from the Eurozone though. Uh, the third wave has seen infections grow almost exponentially and luckily so far that's been contained on the continent. But what that means is that as the UK and US are preparing to fully open their economies, the Eurozone is still firefighting through their respective lockdowns. And no doubt that will affect growth and competitiveness uh, on the other side of all this. That said, Euro dollar touched 118.75 as the dollar declined yesterday. There is resistance around 119.25, but market sentiment suggests that it's unlikely that we'll see a test to that in the short term. Right, that's it from me. Um, hope things warm up for you. I'm off for a cup of tea and a little bit more breakfast. All the best, join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.